Before you get excited, no, this is not an AI-generated video, but very soon it could be. Because OpenAI has just unveiled its latest product. It's called Sora. Now, the word, the word is derived from Japanese. It means sky. And what does it do? Sora can create videos based on your text prompts, like the one we just showed you. OpenAI has given some examples. We'll show you the prompt and then the video. A movie trailer featuring the adventures of a 30-year-old spaceman wearing a wool-knitted motorcycle helmet. Now, that's very specific. I'm sure no such video has ever been shot. So let's look at Sora's output. Quite accurate. Let's look at another example. This is what the prompt said. A stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm, glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a long red dress and black boots and carries a black purse. Again, very specific. Take a look at Sora's output. That was an AI-generated video. Let's tackle the obvious question here. How is Sora doing this? Through machine learning. Sora is basically an AI model. It has been trained on possibly tens of thousands of videos, maybe millions. So the responses are based on those clips. Let me explain with another example. This is the prompt. Two golden retrievers podcasting on top of a mountain. Look at Sora's output. Sora has basically merged different videos in its library. It has videos of golden retrievers. It has videos of mountains. It also has videos of podcasting. So the output that you see is a mashup. It has learned from those clips to generate the output. But sometimes it can go wrong. Let me show you another prompt. Step printing scene of a person running cinematic film shot in 35mm. Now look at the output. Clearly, that's impossible. You can't run backwards on a treadmill. But such glitches aside, this is very advanced technology. Think of all the uses. You can make stock footage from Sora. You can use it for storytelling, in video campaigns, even in news stories. All of this makes Sora a very consequential tool. So when can you use it? Right now, Sora is not available to the public. Only some creators and researchers can use it. Also, there are restrictions. The videos are limited to one minute. Plus, no sexual content, no violence, and no celebrity likeness. But we say that's hardly enough. We have gone past the realm of funny chatbots. This is now bending reality. People may dismiss fake news claims on social media, but what if that claim is backed by pictures or videos? Maybe a politician taking bribes, or communal riots, or celebrities doing something wrong, or maybe something as simple as an alien spaceship. It could amplify that fake news. Of course, AI models have some guardrails. They won't let you make videos or pictures of celebrities or politicians, but that alone is not enough. There are many unregulated models out there, those willing to bend the rules. And we've seen examples of that, like fake robocalls by US President Joe Biden or fake porn images of Taylor Swift. So what's the solution to these problems? Well, tech companies say they're on it. A global accord is in the works. It attempts to limit disinformation and fake news from AI. And how will it do that? Among many things, with a watermark. If every AI image or video has a watermark, you can distinguish them. Sora videos do have them. You can see the watermark on the bottom right. It's a stopgap measure until more rules come in.
which raises the bigger question, where does AI go next? Well, you know the rule about technology, it keeps getting better whether you like it or not. Soon such AI videos may become indistinguishable from real ones. And when that happens, we need rules. Companies alone cannot guarantee safety in the age of artificial intelligence. Governments must take the lead. Whether it's watermarks or digital signatures or stricter terms of use, and the window is very small. Just think back to ChatGPT. It was launched in 2022, but now the market is filled with text-based AI models. There are many others who are doing the same thing. Chances are Sora will go the same way. Before you know it, similar models will be everywhere, which is why regulation is urgently needed. I know world leaders have a lot on their plate, but they would be wise to see samples of Sora. That should tell them how urgent it is.